Mm-hmm. I'm here. I'm ready. Okay. Uh, um, I'm gonna get a Hold drink. Me. I'll be right back. Okay. Get us. Are you getting a wine? I'm not. I'm, I'm good. Yeah, you're getting a drink. He's good. Yeah. I, I, I don't have something light. Like, give me something light. I don't have. I left my wallet in the car, so. Okay, wait. Yeah, give me something really light. Mm. Mm. Yeah, Maria's in it. Okay, I'm perfect. in it. You're in it. Okay, right. let me take a picture of this. Mike, you have your phone. Let me take a quick picture of this. Yeah, man. First. No, seven seven one is the password. No, I don't need the password anymore. All right, so this looks insane. The first. Cheers! <laughs> oh, this actually, this this gets everybody. Yeah, I'm your guest. Yeah, I should have these headphones, no? You know, do you want one? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> I thought you said you didn't want one. That's why I said okay. It's better for um, the picture. Take. Ooh. All right, you don't need your. Yeah, I know it's fine. Um, all right, this gets everybody in it. This is perfect. Okay, let everyone here just switch spots. I just want to make sure the mics are all good, and then I'll switch. Go sit. Mike, can you just scoot over that way real quick? Mm -hmm. And then I'll just switch with you. So, I think, I think that you, you guys are going to ask the questions. Oh, uh, but don't be tough on me. Yeah. Like, don't I'm be asking, tough on me. I'm please, asking please, you. Please, what so, please. Like, I'm asking you a significant <laughs> amount of questions, and then after I'm done asking you questions, I'm going to ask her questions. Cool. So, everything that you sent is going to be asked to her, but yes. I'm going to be mainly. I Every interview is always an interview with you, then but you it get, follows on with yeah, her. Yeah, so you'll have a time to breathe. So, you're well, not sweating. Not sit here. No, I'm going to sit there. Don't worry. I'm just going to sit there. Okay, so I need you to speak into that mic. Like, normal voice. Test one, two, three, four. Say it again. Test one, two, three, four. Okay. That's good. Oh, okay. And then. Hello, hello. Test one, two, three, four. Maloof. Yeah, Maloof is strong. Look, I did like Test you. Test one, two, three, four. Diamonds are forever. <laughs> Maria, why don't you, can you go ahead and speak normal? I'm speaking one, two, three. I'm leaving at 11. You guys want me to bring the cars up front? That would be great. Oh, that would be great. Yeah, yeah that would be great. Right. Thank, Thank you, brother. Got it, got it. Okay, so everyone is set now. Let me just press record. Jerry, you gotta press well, record right now. Do you want to drink? What do you want to drink? drink? Do you, just give me like a gin and tonic. Give me something light. You're not that big. It's okay. But, yeah. <laughs> um. Okay, good. Your hair is fantastic. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Not you. Not you. <laughs> it's hair. <laughs> Nobody touched. It's okay. Me. I sit in his shadow every day. Yes, he does. Be careful. Oh, who messed this up? A little brother right there. Where's your little brother? Mike, you want a drink? A brother from another um, mother. <laughs> get me a wine, a cabernet. Okay. Small glass. You can put it here? Yeah. It's okay? Yeah. So I can can I put my glass? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Just don't spill it on camera. No, no, no. Yeah. this is That'll go viral. Uh, yeah, Maria. This is my Red Bull. That's right. That's Red Bull? Yes. This is my Red Bull glass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take Cheers. Your, take your Miami with me. Yeah, let's go to Miami. Me and Rachel Max, and we take nice, are, are nice. You, are, you, are you trying to? They closed it. Okay, no problem. Let's go. Water bottles. Yeah, yeah, water bottles. I have Red Bull. Who wants Red Bull? I don't need a Red Bull. Get water. Get water. I know. Okay, right? Are you? Shine bright like a diamond. China. Mike, this is not your water, is it? Who's China? No, who who likes China? I don't Joe like Biden. Biden. Oh, my Joe shit. Biden likes China. Oh, Something's unplugged. Like don't be tough oh. on me. Yeah. Is this your water? This no. is my, my this second. This interview is meant to help you. Yes, this it is. is. This is my second uh, interview in English, hey, okay? Hey. Say, why did you just move it up? I just adjusted it. Aye, aye, aye. Oh my god, that's too low now. Why did you move it up? Stay there, okay? Um, <laughs> let me move this over here, man. Okay. All the volume just Both saying. of them, they're ruining the trip. People are trying. You mess with the buttons. <clears throat> Maria, you wanted headphones? Yeah, it's you better, have headphones. No? You have headphones. Where's, where's the other headphones? There's three headphones. Is it on the ground? The, Mike, sitting. Oh, you. Mike, you gotta sit there. Someone. Put. Sit on it. Yeah, Allah, hopefully, I will. I love it. Oh, shit. Okay, here. Okay. Wow. So, you, wow. you will end it up in this interview. This is on the left side. Speaking Arabic, eh? I understand, so I'm Hindu, but like, I understand. You have to understand one Very, word in Arabic. Oh, yeah, I, I, I mean, I know Habibi. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> I like the mixer here. Easy. Is it easy. Don't take him on a trip, he'll ruin it. Who? Who? Max. 
<laughs> All right, ready? We're going. We're, I'm gonna start recording. Y'all are live. We're live, guys. Y'all. Hey, is that camera good for me? Yeah, you're good. Mm -hmm. Mike, okay. I need you here. Okay. 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 <clears throat> this is live. This is gonna turn off in 30 minute timer. Oh my god. Jerry, get ready, Maria. Come on. Please. Yeah. Set a timer for 30 minutes. 30 minutes. We have no, no, we my... have to do. We have to return them on. It's fine, but okay. This, this is oh gonna be god. significantly longer than 30. This is hurts my ears and my. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, come on. One more. I swear. We'll be okay. 30 minutes. It's too, it's too tough. I'll, put, I'll use it. Yeah, that's what I, I was saying. It. It's okay. Yeah, it'll hurt, yeah. Okay. The earrings, right? Mm -hmm. Look okay. at your hair. Yeah, your camera is on. Yeah, we are live. Okay, Say hi to my audience. Hello, guys. Welcome to the showroom podcast. Let's go. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, yeah. Click recording when you're ready to go. I know when I'm ready, I'm going to record. I'm just going to do one more quick brief, and then I'm going to start it. Oh my god. You got the, you got everything in there? Okay, don't touch, nobody <laughs> touch the mics once they're set, because it's gonna make that noise. Maria, get ready. I'm ready, yeah. Move that closer to you. Can I, yeah, yeah, yeah go ahead. I think. Yeah, go ahead, pull it. Yeah, thank Is that you. good? Perfect. Okay, guys, ready? Ready? Hey everybody, welcome back. We are live to the showroom, podcast number five. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I am with uh, Maria Marlowe. Thank you so much for meeting me. I really appreciate it. And Mike and, and Arna. Hey, how you doing today? Thank you for having me. Thank you, guys. thank you. It's, a, hey. it's an honor. So I, I'm, I'm really curious. I've heard a lot about you from a lot of other people. Just give me some background about you. You know, I'm just, I'm so intrigued. So uh, what brought you to America? Why are you here? And, and where are you from? <laughs> I'm from Lebanon and I'm so happy to be in Washington, D.C. It's uh, the capital of uh, the decision maker of the world. All events are going on here and it's the land of free and the uh, home of the brave. So why I'm not here? I'm so happy to be here and uh, I feel uh, I can talk, I, I can speak, I can uh, express my opinion with no fear and with no hesitation. So, you're from Lebanon, right? Exactly. Okay, and is that a big reason what made you want to move to America? Well, I had a problem with Hezbollah. I think that Hezbollah is a militia that uh, hijacked my country. And I think that uh, um, we, we can see that the Trump administration put Hezbollah on uh, sanctions uh, on FTO list and um, this militia is the, uh, making a state inside my country, inside state. So um, I'm against Hezbollah, I'm, um, I'm a big defender of uh, human rights, uh, freedom of speech and this is why I'm here. I'm just practicing my job freely. Uh, with no doubt, and certainly I'll go back to Lebanon. Now it's not my uh, my uh, um, first priority to go back because uh, the judiciary system is against me, and uh, Hezbollah is uh, using everybody. It's controlling the country, and this is very bad. It's a bad do situation you, there. Do you have family in Lebanon? Yes. Well, I have family in Lebanon. I uh, have been threats. I've been uh, object to uh, threat and, and, and it's a very bad decision uh, to leave Lebanon, but I have no choice. Mike, have you been to Lebanon? Or are you aren't of? I've never been to Lebanon. I, I haven't been to that area because I know it's uh, there's a lot of warfare and it's pretty dangerous down there, so I don't um, you know go down there. But what I'm more curious about is you know the threats and all that. Why are why is Hezbollah you know specifically coming after you or people? coming after you what did you know what did, what did they perceive that you did wrong uh, well because I criticize them and I think that uh, my people deserve freedom uh, the, uh, Beirut was the city of law we had in the Middle East we had the first law school in Beirut and I wish that this country will go back to its oasis of freedom and hopefully uh, I wish that uh, this administration will do more for Lebanon. Uh, sanctions is not enough. Putting people or entities on uh, sanctions list is, not, list is not enough. We need more. Uh, people in my country is struggling, and I struggled in my career. And um, 
hopefully this will end very soon and I will go back to Lebanon when uh, Hezbollah will become uh, 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 will, will stop controlling the decision of my people. So is your family that are there now? Or do, are they we have threat? family in Lebanon and uh, we, have a res we are a resisting people. We are the people who love life and who want peace and stability and tranquility and this is what we are uh, uh, asking for. When you, when you first came to America, was D.C. the first stop? And, and why D.C. now? Because this country is so big. D.C. is home and why not? Washington is uh, the big capital where everybody <laughs> is here, you know? <laughs> yeah. uh, it's the, like uh, everybody is here and talking about politics. You can meet people, you can go to conferences. And as you know, I'm a member of the Gold Institute, I'm a member of People Authorized, and I believe that think tanks are, uh, are doing uh, a big job by um, giving some solutions to our problems in the world. Mike, so, do you want to uh, elaborate a little bit on that? Yes, um, well, you know, <coughs> me, and, me and Maria met, and I, uh, I took a real liking to her. I listened to her story. I met, through, met Maria through a mutual friend who's heavy into politics. Mm -hmm. And just from the first interaction with Maria, uh, we hit it off and her story was amazing. Just what she went through, how she came to the United States of America and is here making a name for herself and still has her family and her best interests, you know, her home country of Lebanon. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I mean, think tanks are big. I mean, you have, in the Washington DC area, you have so many different groups of people, um, whether on what side you're on, they're all coming together. And from Capitol Hill to the White House, uh, to the Pentagon, the CIA, to the National Security Agency, you have every agency uh, within the Maryland, Virginia, and DC area. And it, it's the, a thing The problem is that maybe we need more uh, action. Uh, I just remember when we had the Trump administration, uh, uh, and this is why I'm a fan of President Trump. Uh, uh, we had more like uh, decision. Uh, well, you, you, had your, you had your freedom, or freedom of speech there, where you could speak and say what you want, and people can actually grow and be part of something they want to build. Exactly. So, so, the, so what? What I admire about uh, to, uh, to, uh, between 2016 and 2020 that the Middle East had no war, no war at all. So we had like uh, uh, the enemies of the United States and the, the American nation are our enemy at the same time. Um, I'm so proud to be part of the, uh, the, the Gulf states. I used to live in Dubai. Uh, I'm a fan of, uh, of the president of UAE and I support him. I support uh, Saudi Arabia. And I wish that the relations between the U.S. and these countries will be more stronger than we are having right now. Uh, how was Dubai? You lived in Dubai for how long? For maybe four or five years. I, I'm, I'm in going and coming. I want to live there. Mike, 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 Mike move us to Dubai. Pluto connect to Dubai. <laughs> we can do it anytime. Yeah. I would love to be in Dubai. Maybe you can give us the official tour of Dubai. Yeah, you are so welcome. <laughs> and, and you know I have ties in Dubai anyway. We got a spot to park your planes. <laughs> Let's yeah. do it. Do you have a private jet to take us to Dubai? <laughs> Maria, we have a lot of stuff, okay? Stand by, stand by. <laughs> Perfect. So, so, so yeah. I, I kind of want, sorry to interrupt, I, I do really want to talk to, to Arnab about this specifically. I just want to tell the people, the people are watching, my, my second, this is my third language, so I speak Arabic fluently, French fluently, and English, so You sound amazing. If I, if I do some mistakes, so. Mm -hmm. no, just support said, me. <laughs> Maybe Maybe that's why you're on the pod. Two <laughs> years, you. I'll be better, Jan. Just give me time. Yeah. <laughs> Arnab, I want to ask you this because you are in the banking world a little bit. So tell me about Lebanon. And I know they had a big crisis a couple years ago with their, uh, sure. their currency. So I want you to kind of elaborate on that too. And I also want you to kind of elaborate on his question, I mean, on his response to your family in Lebanon and, and how they're living after that crisis. So can you just start on that? Well, it's not just Lebanon. I don't know too many details about Lebanon, but the overall picture was, you know, the entire government, you know, shut down or, you know, like it, it fell, right? And mm -hmm. so money 
wasn't valued very high and people had you know the, the cash just wasn't you know buying anything you can't buy anything with it no yeah. so um, that's one thing and that's only that's not only happening in Lebanon it's happening in Venezuela it's happening in all these um, African countries right now and you know part of that um, was due to the infl inflation from the Biden administration um, I'd say you know they they did a lot of stimulus checks which is okay but you know we're trying to control that but you know Lebanon was um, hit pretty bad with inflation exactly right. you you know the story i'm just uh, looking at some of the comments you are seeing on the screen on my uh the story in lebanon is we are uh, occupied by the iranian regime and by hezbollah hezbollah is in uh, uh is, a, is a militia it's a terrorist organization so uh they start slowly by fooling us in their slogans and i discovered this uh false statement and they are raising and uh, we we were like like believing uh, that maybe this country is a small country needs help mm -hmm. and uh, rather than building a state a big strong army mm -hmm. uh, everybody uh, go to the resistance and uh, to support this resistance and, and I in my early age yeah, and to, before the assassination of uh, our Prime Minister Rafiq Hariri, yes. uh, we, were, we were saying that, oh, Hezbollah is a strong uh, defender of Lebanon. But mm -hmm. after 20 years, we discovered, uh, especially after 2005, the assassination of President Hariri, Prime, Prime Minister, and after uh, the explosion recently in 2020, uh, 2022, the... Uh, the port, uh, the... Oh, yeah, I saw that. It was a huge explosion. Yeah. It was a huge explosion. And the nitrate ammonium, it was, it mm -hmm. belongs to Hezbollah. So he Hezbollah creates an illusion for the people exactly. of Lebanon. They, they, I, I they make to, them to think that something is you, you really there. You are a Trump supporter. I want you to, to, to let, let my audience to know that you feel the pain we are suffering from. I feel the pain. I mean, I feel the pain just speaking with you on a regular basis um, and other people uh, from Lebanon what they went through with this. I mean, Hezbollah has created an illusion for them and made them think something that they was going to become about of Lebanon. Yeah. And the only thing they want to do was just terrorize Lebanon, exactly. take it over exactly. and control it. Yeah. Mike, how can Polity Connect and you coincide together to help the Lebanese well, people? Well, we have an example. We have an example during the Trump administration, we had the Abraham Accord. It was a very huge experience to spread peace and introduce our people and take our people from that like they are equal of violence now yani, the slogan or the in, title of the arab nation is violence no we, we are seeing now uh, nations are they, are they want peace with israel and me coming from a country uh, we had many wars with israel uh, the the lebanese people has no fault in it so so it was like the others wars in our you guys were pulled into it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just yeah. forced and pulled into it. So, can can we just take two steps back for our viewers? They don't know. Like, there's Hezbollah, right? The mm -hmm. terrorist group. Are there resistances? I know there's probably multiple there resistances used to be. <laughs> that are fighting them. So, what's going on in they that us. Uh, situation? Uh, look, this is what happened. That they interfered in the uh, um, in the war in Syria. They defended the Syrian regime, Al Assad, and we know. The Caesar Act, where the Americans and President uh, Trump was one supported the Caesar Act to 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 punish uh, this regime uh, for his massacres. Uh, the people, the Syrian people, is suffering, and we are suffering. Hezbollah is is an a arm, a militia, uh, like mercenaries. They are hired from the Iranian regime to kill uh, who is against the Mullah regime, Al Khamenei. So, I have many supporters like. Masih Ali Najat, like all that sounds this. terrible. Have you seen any of that firsthand? I, I, I just, I just, I'm, I'm, I left Lebanon in 2016, but uh, I just, I, I'm, I'm, I was very bold from my colleague to, to, to tell the truth, and telling the truth is hard. I told you I had mm -hmm. threats at the point to death. So. Well, I can tell you, in our presence, especially in my presence. You're very well protected. And we will keep you protected, your family, and we want to make well for the people of Lebanon. Thank we want you. them to be free. In any way we can help, Politi Connect can help. 
any way the Trump administration can help. I'm sure the future Trump administration, the future Trump administration it's coming. <laughs> I should say yeah. I'm already speaking in the future already because he will be back and he wants to help. Yeah, you know, the that, we have we have very uh, <laughs> a strong love and strong respect and support for President Trump because he got rid of uh, the snake of the terrorist uh, uh, all operations, Qasem Soleimani. I think President Trump, if he runs in any Arabic country, he'll be elected. Mm -hmm. so, <laughs> so we already you, know in 2024. If you don't want him in your country, for? we want him. Who are you going to vote for in 2024? <laughs> of course, certainly, no doubt. Uh, oh, you have my promise. You know. I, if I can vote, it will be President Trump. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about your business ventures. Well, I have my, uh, uh, I'm a member of many in, uh, institutes, but the Capital Institute is, uh, I found it, and is, I'm the founder, and I do my show, the Capital Show, a talk show. Uh, we are now uh, sharing our uh, episode. Like and, I, and, I, and I believe you want me to be on your board with you. Yeah, yeah. And I'm, I'm the looking leadership. forward to it. You'll be my, one of the top leadership in our... Uh, Thank you so much, Maria. Our, it means so much to me. Our institute, yeah. And I find uh, Washington DC is a place that you can just um, speak freely and you just live your life, you know? You can do whatever you want because there is laws that protect human rights and there is like, um, as much as you are not breaking the law. Freedom of speech. Yeah, you, you are most welcome. And we want to keep it that way in America, freedom of speech, uh, I, freedom. I, I don't know about 6th January, it's 6th like of January. I don't know about like uh, what happened in January 6th. Oh, the Capitol Hill. Yeah, January 6th. and just I think this is uh, uh, went a little bit too far. It went a little bit too far, of course, and it's the media again blew it out of proportion. It's mm -hmm. not what they said it was. Uh, the truth has been coming out little by little, but yeah. a lot of people had to suffer for it and sit in jail for it and be uh, crucified for something. Uh, that really was a peaceful protest that got out of hand mm -hmm. and it wasn't an insurgence like everybody said and put on the news so people around the world were watching this and they were trying to you know they were trying to put the wrong idea this current administration was trying to put the wrong idea out there about things and what people were involved in mm -hmm. yeah so that's a yeah, good point he asked me about about the, my show i i wanted to be the the bridge of conversion uh between the arab nations and the United States. I want to be uh, someone who introduced the uh, uh, my Arab audience to the Western mind, uh, the, the depths of this this thinking. Uh, so you're the ambassador of peace? I'm the ambassador of peace, yeah, uh -huh. a long time ago, yeah. I, uh, yeah, I, I believe in peace. Uh, we, are, we, we had lots of violence in, in the other part of the world. Yeah. It's time to have peace. So tell us a little bit more about the Capitol Institute. Well, as I said that, um, it's like, I believe in think tanks, and I believe that this is the only way to find, uh, um, like, try to create solutions, and yeah? try to, 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 to use all uh, um, high-level intellectual people or, or experts to bring uh, some, uh, especially people who have ex expertise, to give us some solution and give it to the, the, the people who are authorized or the people who are in power. The Capital Institute, uh, we are new, newly born and we hope that we, we will succeed in doing this, this job. And I hope that, uh, as you know, as you uh, notice that we have many um, like uh, a do donation or, or campaigns we are supporting. Uh, we are uh, planning to do climate change uh, campaign and we had people in, uh, uh, that uh, they were affected from the uh, uh, earthquake oh, yeah. that yeah. struck Turkey. Syria, Libya, uh -huh. uh, Syria, Lebanon and Turkey. So we hope that Michael will support us. That's great do I have your word? Yes, you have my word and mm -hmm. like I said, Maria, you're you're here now, but your knowledge, your uh, you know, your preservation, everything you know, is going back home too. You know, the people back there can feel your inspiration here, right here in the U.S. I'm sure they feel it, everything. 
I hope so. I'm so happy. I'm so glad to have you in my life. Everyone. Thank you. Yes. You and you. Yes. Thank you. Thank he's, you. he's thinking, what? Well, don't give me uh, tough uh, questions. <laughs> don't be tough on me. <laughs> You're great. You're doing great. I was just going to ask you, what do you think about the Saudi Arabian uh, agreement? Oh, well, I think that the Iranians is always uh, cheating. <laughs> Why is that? Because they have all the... the yeah, but the, uh, uh, the thing that Riyadh take the initiative and they have like uh, letting other nations to, go, to, to follow their rhythm, this is amazing. So I believe that uh, Saudi Arabia leadership uh, have a strategic and long-term agreement and this is what they hope. But we're gonna wait for days and weeks, and what will what it will come from from this the implication is more more impro important, and the lesson remains in the, in implication. So so um, I'm not sure if you know this, but it was actually China who oh, middlemaned yeah. um, mm. the uh, Saudi and Iran situation, right? I, I think that I don't, I don't believe that China can give any guarantees mm -hmm. to the to. To this well, agreement, the, but well, they're starting to trade the, their currency with oil. Well, you know, they, I, I, they the broke the deal. thing, yeah. yeah, but this is it's, it's not a long term issue. They, yeah, they took away our petrodollar, so they this is in the, the, China brokered a deal with all the countries. I don't there. think China will, and China now uh, they 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 uh, present themselves if, uh, as uh, a peacemaker or mediator between Israel and uh, is, uh, Israel and Palestine. That was their game from the get go. Yeah, yeah I, I don't believe in China at all. I think this is temporary. I know, I don't. There's a... There's a I, 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 the only look at the relationship between Saudi Arabia or UAE and the US on a security level is much more important than than any China interference like right now. Because after two years or one year, it, everything will change if we have a... Republican, I think so. If we have a Republican administration, things will will just flip over. I mean, uh, I think so. You saw, yeah, 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 you're good, exactly. you're good. So Saudi, um, so Biden called Saudi. I don't know if you guys saw this on the news, uh, but they won't a even. Pariah, pariah. Yeah, and they won't even pick up his phone call anymore. Uh, did you guys hear about that? Yeah, well, th that's been an ongoing thing, you know, since since Biden has been in office, and uh, a lot of people don't oh, pick up his phone goodness. calls. So, like, like you know, I believe... If he calls you, did you answer him? Would uh, you answer uh, President I, Biden? I'm going to be honest with you on this podcast. I'll <laughs> take my cell phone and throw it in the Potomac River, okay? <laughs> and maybe he'll keep calling it back because he'll uh, forget, he's he'll forget to hang up. He's <laughs> oh, there we go. There's, you see the bubbles coming up out of the Potomac River. <laughs> Biden. Boom. Boo, 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 boo. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I have. I, I want to see some questions from the audience. Uh, well, well, it's been 22 uh, minutes we are broadcasting. What about mm -hmm. you guys? The same exact amount of time. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Sa same time. You're doing very well. well. So, what do you think pleasure. President Biden could be doing differently right now in office to help benefit? I don't know. Maybe he's sleeping or something. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> but what I know that there is no word can describe the situation right now. What what the, this administration brought to America, you know. We, I, I wish that we will have very soon an, an administration that bring the glorious uh, America again to the Middle East because uh, we, we witnessed a, 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 um, a decline uh, of, of the role in the world mm -hmm. of this nation. I was born and I love to come to the US. I came here when I was like uh, the early age, I was 24. I was here to assist or cover a Coptic conference and before, before uh, and maybe 2004, 2000. So this is our, our land of dreams. And I don't want to lose this phase. And especially I'm here and I'm living here. I'm going to stay here. So, so I, I like that a lot. And so what do you think, you know, some, there are some steps. Uh, it's all great. Yeah, no, you're good. You're good. Don't worry. No, no, no. We, don't know we hear you. Um, <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> um, so well, we, we need a new administration. Yeah, yeah. 100% agree. But what I'm saying is, um, what do you think are some steps to make, like you just said, there's uh, 
the current administration or you know, previous administrations they pulled out of the South, the Arabic countries? What are some steps to you know, help them out and would level just, them up? Just to, to strengthen the alliance with the, 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 the people, the country. obsessed by what is going on between Russia and Ukraine and this is maybe their priority. We don't know. It looks like a big diversion has been created. Yeah. So what <clears throat> what made you leave Lebanon and say enough's enough and how did you get out of Lebanon? Like I need to know I want to know the, the backstory. You want to know the details? Yeah. Well I was in UAE when I tweeted uh, and I didn't go back in 2016. I tweeted, uh, look, what's the crime I did? I just tweeted and I said, well, if Hassan Nasrallah uh, is an enemy of Israel, why, why they don't get rid of, rid of him? Why they don't just... And the president saw your tweet. It's not the president. It's not, we are occupied by a militia. Yeah, militia. We, don't, we don't have a president. The president the is like a number. Yeah. It's someone who is in charge, but he's not in charge. They are thieves, they are corrupted, and the people are have to hold them accountable and, and just be strong and face them and take them. So he saw your tweet, then what, what did he say? Who saw my tweet? It's Hassan the militia. Nasrallah. So the militia the head, saw your tweet? He is the weapon of Iran in the Middle East. Okay, so did he reach out to you? Like, what did he say? Like, I, I he, he didn't say anything. He just... Uh, because he has power everywhere. He controls everything in my country. He just... He just he controlled the airport, the 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 everything, the judicial money judicial system, system, court system. Everything, everything. Well, when you when you made the and tweet, then I didn't get I didn't get back, so I stayed in UAE. Well, what made you feel unsafe on that tweet? Like because I was uh, accused by treason. Treason to your country. Yeah, and then recently, this is was the first uh, the first case. I'm, I just I don't look like President Trump, but you can see what what is Trump facing now. Mm -hmm. I was facing like a little bit of it. Yani so the, the, the media of cases Lebanon was after you cases of treason? after cases. Yani. The Hezbollah was Hezbollah. Hezbollah. Well, Hezbollah. So, who was, so he accused you of treason like publicly? Yeah, yeah. I, okay. I can show you some. Okay, no, I just wanted to know. I just don't know enough. I just I oh, need a backstory. I have a big. And then recently, when I was in USA. I didn't know any any single person from Israel. I don't know who who are Yani. I never met any Jewish person in my life. Imagine how we are closed minded. Yes. Mm -hmm. Of yeah. how we were born to just think that Israel is our enemy. Well, I can tell you right now that Iran did to us much more, hundred more times what Israel did in 1982. Yeah, you know, the invasion. Yes. Mm -hmm. And they came to us to, to defend the, the Palestinians because there is a conflict. But what, what is the matter? What have the Lebanese people? The Lebanese people don't want that. We want prosperity. We want to be like the... the, the, the you Swiss, want freedom. The Swiss mm -hmm. of the Middle East. We were, we, we were to be called the Switzerland of the Middle East. Middle East. Mm -hmm. So You're I, Italian, you know that. Yes. I'm looking up online right now. I actually see something really interesting. You've been honored um, by an American media organization that has classified you as the most influential person in uh, the world for 2023. What does this mean to you? Yeah, the Al Gaminer, it's a, a very important media outlet. and it's, uh, They put too much responsibility on, on my shoulders. And I feel so proud, I'm so excited. And this is, uh, tell me, this message or this title uh, tells me that I'm on the right direction. So everything I did in my whole career was right. And here I am. You did the right thing for sure, standing up for your beliefs, your family, and the people of your country, you. who we support. Mm -hmm. Ambassador Di Pasquale, how did you guys connect? He's ambassador too, he's I'm ambassador a, of peace, no? Thank you, I'm, an, I'm a goodwill ambassador, good but I'm an ambassador. ambassador for anyone and to just bring people together. So, so we had some comments actually about what, you know, goodwill ambassador means. Could you go into some details 
Yeah. Yes, I mean, um, basically, um, you, you know, it, it can it falls under a bunch of things. So basic, basically, um, I bring the goodwill, meaning uh, connecting people, bringing people together, whether it's meetings at the table for dinner, whether it's by phone, whether it's via computer, and the goodwill of what we're spreading, whether it's for a campaign, whether it's for a certain charitable organization, uh, whether it's for a certain administration, we spread the goodwill and what we're about and what we're promoting for that certain administration or the people for, for the benefits of everyone. This is that's wonderful. great. That's great to hear. That's, I really love the work that both of you guys are doing, you know, making the world a better place every day. And, and that's why you come to the showroom. Yeah. Of course. And, um, a, Cheers to the showroom. Cheers. <laughs> a quick, uh, quick backstory. Me and Maria were introduced to a, uh, a mutual friend. Yeah. Um, that mutual friend um, is very, very in depth in the politics uh, with the UN. Uh, with yeah. everybody, and he's a big supporter of President Max, Trump. Max Morgan. His name is Max Morgan. And I like him a lot. Yes, she does, and he's, he's a amazing. very close friend of mine too. And it's just a joy every time I sit with him. And yeah, we we put, like Maria said about a think tank. We put together our ideas, um, our strength. We talk about our if we have any weaknesses and how to make them stronger, and to make the USA a better place, and to continue. Uh, what the U.S. is built on, freedom, democracy, mm -hmm. you know, everybody working together, a strong country where we have our freedoms and our beliefs, and we're freely to do that. All right, we got to go on a quick five, but we'll be right back. <coughs> quick break. All right, we have to do a quick break. We'll do, I have to we'll, go. we'll end it in like, we'll do a quick five Except minutes. We end it in 10 more minutes. Yeah, we'll do it in 10 more minutes. Five more minutes. You took me 10, it's a lot. You got five yeah, more yeah, minutes in your hand just press the, uh, what does it say? We'll be I mean, okay. almost done, almost done. We'll be very quick. I know it was very quick. Oh, this is so tight. Oh, Oops. Shit. Okay. I'll go. We'll be back. Maria, we're doing a lot of good things. Oh, yeah. it's not, it's not. <coughs> I, I know this line. camera's on. Oh, okay. Give her back. My sister. My English is so bad. My sister. I just, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry if I had some mistakes. <laughs> no, no, it's perfect. You're good. We love you guys. Uh, please don't be, don't let it too, too much because we have school tomorrow and I have. I don't know when that camera stopped recording. What, what is Figure it out. Yeah. Your problem. You ready? Ready. Yeah. Hold on. Let's get, let's get this done. Okay, just like two, three more questions. We'll be out here. All right. We are back. Please, hey, guys, welcome leave. back to, to the show. We're going to take a quick two-second break. But I just want to let you guys know that this is brought to you guys by Politi Connect and Capital is Out of Cars. These are the main two sponsors for the Showroom Podcast. And, hey, make sure to get your guys' new uh, Capital Exotic hats. They're coming out soon. And let me say something real quick. These exotic cars are unbelievable. <laughs> I mean, I'm telling you. You guys got to go on the Capital Exotics website and check it out. Jerry's done a phenomenal job. Arnava's done a great job with it. I mean, it's something for you guys to check out. And, uh, hey, don't be afraid to rent them. It's only money. <laughs> <laughs> There's always more to make. Yes, sir. Got it. Yeah. Speaking of money, what other business ventures are you in, Maria? Oh, well, I'm not. I didn't know how to invest. I just have, like, Oh, investment, investment, but it's, I don't want to talk w about it. Weren't we talking about opening up a bank together or something? I just don't want to talk about it. We'll, we'll discuss that in another podcast. Uh, yeah. Well, no, 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 I'm not asking you about money, but besides the... the investment. The, besides the institute yeah, that I you're just doing. Keep it no, like, no, not investments. Besides the institute that you're doing, what other business are you involved in? Oh, yeah. Uh, it's just like uh, mm, charity stuff. Yeah. So... And from, other business, I just, like, I want to keep it for myself. I know you like shopping. No, because I have like uh, some some partnership in UAE, but this is uh, this I will keep it from my Instagram. Mm -hmm. No problem. <laughs> so what from you know from now on, what's your you know next five to ten year goal? What do you want to accomplish? Well, my goal is like to to see the Abraham Accords spreading everywhere. Mm -hmm. Every country will be involved because we are all uh, descendants of the of Abraham uh, Prophet Abraham. So. I just want to see peace. Uh, I see my, my people were struggling. It's, it's enough. We had enough of this wars. 
Um, tranquility is important and uh, violence is not accepted in my uh, dictionary. So this is my, my purpose now. Understood. That's a great purpose and you know I hope you inspire people along the way and, and you know carry on that tradition and you know uh, forward to actually achieve that goal. Do you believe the, the media portrays you in bad light? No, I believe there is uh, not enough people to speak the truth. They are not, not strong enough to just express themselves. They were afraid. They were under the blackmailing or something. Yeah, and they didn't have the chance to go out. And I see now there is a lot of immigration from Lebanon. Uh, people are afraid to speak. And, and this is why they, this is holding them up. Do you feel silenced in your country? I was, yeah, I was. I was silenced. And all this accusation in the in the court and all these cases against me was like, it's like uh, fake files, fake news. Is it still ongoing right now, like in your country, these cases? Are they still yeah, yeah. Are they, Recently, if you go the, back, will you be in prison? Yeah, of course. Uh, or in prison, or assassinated, or killed, or tortured, or raped. Because I think if I arrive to the to the Beirut airport, Rafi Kari airport, I won't last 12 minutes. Well, we're not going to let that happen. We're not going to go back there. We're going to make sure you're safe always. Yeah, thank you so much. I'm here. I'm safe and I'm strong. And all this struggle will never um, uh, take me away from, from what I believe. I believe in equality and prosperity and peace. So one question I have is, where are most of your know, followers located? Are they all around the Saudi globe? Saudi Arabia, UAE, Iraq, Syria, Lebanon. Mm -hmm. and, and now America. And America, yeah. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> so are you are you planning on hosting some sort of big events down the line for? Well, you know, we, we have an event in June with Gold Institute mm -hmm. uh, in uh, Regan uh, building. Uh, you are all invited. Mm -hmm. uh, they are. Uh, they have, we have a many, a two days event with uh, important speakers, high level intellectual people. Mm -hmm. We hope you to come and uh, to have interviews with them. And Capital Exotics and Politi Connect, we're doing an event in June that we're gonna release. We'd love to have you come as well. Of course, my pleasure. Mm -hmm. and, you, and you know, it's like I said again, our friendship has been. Built strong, built tough. Exactly. Like the Italian wine. <laughs> you got a fine wine, and uh, it's a pleasure always talking with you. Uh, it's a pleasure for uh, the invitation to be on your board. I can't wait to do that and to help uh, better the people of Lebanon. And don't Lebanon. forget our our campaign. And our campaign. Exactly. Donation campaign. We Donation count on you, Michael. That you can count on me. Mm -hmm. Like I said, we want to help your people in Lebanon get the freedom and democracy they deserve over there. For the people, by the people, from the people. Always. Maria Malouf. Inshallah. Yeah. <laughs> Peace. Always. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. So I'm going to stop my broadcasting. Thank you, everyone. That was not bad. It was like 35 minutes. <coughs> mm -hmm. We almost, we almost topped 40. Yeah, huh? We almost topped 40 minutes. That's pretty good. That's, uh, These things